Today, we talk about... So, so, when you went in, was it uh, general surgery track into plastics, or was yeah. there a plastic specialty back then? Or? No, I, I, I went to Case Western Reserve uh, University, undergraduate, and then medical school. Okay. Um, and then um, uh, did the you know four years of undergraduate, four years of medical school. <clears throat> then we, we something called Match, which we go. And I, did, I, I went back into uh, uh, Newark, actually, mm-hmm. believe it or not, UMDNG, where I did like a trauma thing, where I... Crack chests and, and 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 you know all kinds of you know <laughs> vicious horrible stuff yeah you know gunshots and and all kinds of uh, stuff stuff that keeps you up at night keeps up at night I get flashbacks from it oh now. yeah no I I would go Did to you sleep. See, you saw some really crazy shit huh oh no I would go to sleep with literally blood on my underwear it was, it was <laughs> on your underwear oh my it, it soaked through oh my god yeah yeah um and then uh, so so four five years of that sorry about that five years of that yeah. crap but it was fun it was yeah. it was. It was kind of, uh, but then after that, I went to um, back to Cleveland to the Cleveland Clinic, mm. where I did my hand fellowship because I wanted to f- figure out if I like hands, um, and I did plastics. And, du- and during that time, are you just looking at people like, yeah, I could fix that, I could fix that nose, I could fix that? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> do, do you have like, like, were you ever? Did you come from that background? And you like, where you? Because I know people who are artists when they're younger, they, they, they right. you know, they'll do certain things that you know, they see. And I feel like being a plastic surgeon, you are an artist. You're not just doing right. surgery to do it. You're doing it. You know what you do is it's aesthetic. So, so did you always have that eye where you're like, I can look at somebody and say they're good looking, but if they just did this and that, they could perfect that, or it can per- like, where, did you always have that mindset? I mean, somewhat. You, you look at you know noses. You look at uh, uh, boobs. You look at uh, um, anything, uh, your faces, and say, I oh, you know. If they do this a little bit, if they do this a uh, little bit. But, you know, something I people are beautiful no matter what they are, inside, outside. It really, you know, a beautiful person is, is really emulates in my, in, my, uh, in, in my thought, you know, confidence. You can, right. be, you can be ugly as sin and, right. be, and be an absolute confident person. Right. You can be 300 pounds and be confident, and you're going to be beautiful. Right, which is it's funny because I'm going to show you. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, what's, what's funny is, uh, and I'm going to show you in a second, I, I, got, I took a bunch of photos from uh, actors <laughs> who, who uh, you know, they show the little the latest photos of these men. Oh, yeah. And they have a guy no oh, coming yeah. down to here. And they have, I mean, they're, you know, wealthy people. They have, they, have, they have the means to be able to get this done. They don't give a shit. They're just walking you know, around like... You know, you, you don't want it. I mean, you, you know, you can be... Uh, I mean, to, to really, a, a, a male body, to really get a fit, you got to eat nothing, right. only protein. You got to exercise eight hours a day. I know nothing about that. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you know, so you, you can picture like 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 Zac Efron, yeah, yeah. you know, or you can picture his buddy, um, well, I don't want to say it, you know, I don't want but, but, but to... But the funny thing about it is, you know, people say, oh, it's got to be so hard, but these people, when you have a million dollar contract to be in a film, right, and that's right. why that's why a lot of times when they get older, they let themselves go, and it, it, it's like, it's your job. It's that, your job. That's why you're doing it, and, and I think sometimes people say, well, everyone in Hollywood gets plastic surgery, it's because they're Vein. I don't. I, I actually I don't, don't agree. think so. I don't agree. Right. I, think I don't think everybody. You know, you you look right. at um, you know these actors who are a listers, young guys, and they get a little older. You know, they 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 kind of. It's um, not vanity when you have a when you have a million dollar contract that says I got to be in Die Hard fifty <laughs> and I'm going to be ninety years old, but I got to look like how I looked when I was thirty. It's like. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's true. My my <laughs> clientele. I mean, I've done some a listing movie stars. I've done done this, but you know something? It's the cops. It's the business. It's the right. it's the fire guys. It's the guys who, uh, you know. I mean, we can talk everything from from kids going through puberty, twelve years old, who, who email me all the time. They can't do certain skins. They can't uh, do this. This bothers them. Well, will it go away? Will it not go well, away? Well, what about the talk about that? So, so we're, we're kind of <laughs> typically which shows up in in, in, in you puberty. Know, so, right. so talk about that because that's very interesting. I feel like. Sure. People don't know how that works. So well, you know, when 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 you're younger, and you know, with lack of, of saying anything, when your balls start to start to wake up, uh, still, it, waiting. <laughs> still waiting. You know, it, uh, it 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 produces testosterone. Now now it depends upon and and again, you're now uh, let me let me uh, digress a little bit. When you are come out of mm. your of your mom, boys sometimes have breast buds because mm. they got the excess estrogens in, in their body. Do we all have the tissue in there? In other yeah, words, yeah. Okay, yeah. so even people who don't have gyno have tissue. Oh, I, I can inject you with, uh, you know, do a, do a, do a Caitlyn Jenner on you oh, and you'll... And it'll grow. And you'll, right, right. Okay, so, and so that's all men. So there's no men who are not born with is, is there zero tissue. So, so all, all people, all men are born with some form of, of breast tissue in a their breast bodies. tissue. And it's the estrogen that, that will, you know, when the ovaries start to work in girls, uh, where the boobs start, the breasts start to form. Um, and guys, uh, it's, it's, it, it's the opposite. But there's a level, there's a sensitivity, there's... Um, 
Um, and, and we can talk about this even more. But but the the in the uh, in the short answer, it's a level of testosterone to estrogen, um, and the aromatization of estrogens into into testosterone. Mm. That's why you know heavier people have more fat, and fat will aromatize um, or change the excess estrogen into testosterone, mm. and uh, and that happens in fat tissue. Um, so people who are heavy set, it's not always the fact that they just, that their chest is just, it's just fat. Sometimes the fact that they're fat is affecting well, hormones. Well, that's called pseudo gynecomastia. Okay. But, but, but where you're saying something different though, you're saying that, that sometimes just being heavy will affect your hormones. So exactly. That, got it. Exactly. Okay. Because uh, heavy people have higher level of estrogens. Now, now also testosterone levels 10 years ago were double what they are now. Is that? What is that? I don't know. Is it the hormones we have, the chicken, uh, the, the 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 bottled water we we drink, the PBAs and bottled? Do you think water? so? Because I've heard that, and it sounds the antibiotics. It, it, it sounds like when people tell me that, I always sound, it sounds like um, like flat Earth kind of stuff. But then you look it's into not. it. No, no, I don't. But I, I just for me, it's like, is it really like? Is it chicken and, and bottled water that's you know, making us grow breasts? But then you look around, and it's like I've never seen as many people with tits before, like I'm talking about men, right. and who have this issue, and maybe I'm more tuned into it, or maybe we as a society are more tuned into it. No, you're looking it. at it because people are, you know, they want to wear, you know, stringers, they want right. to wear, <laughs> you know, they want to wear something, right. and also their posture, people are like, yeah, yeah. you know, they're like hunching over, and they're and they're doing all, uh, you know, what was me type of thing, instead of shoulders back, stomach in, arms, you know. Do you notice that even post-surgery, so you take the gyno, you take the, the, yeah. the breast tissue, but people still have the same posture as if no. they used to have, oh, no, so they fix it's it. like a, it's a, it's, it, 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 it clicks in their minds where they get the gyno out. You know, they they stand more straight right. and their shoulders it's back, and, and they and they you know keep their 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 core in their unabunda, if you want to call it in uh, <laughs> in you know in Namaste type of language. Can yeah. I ask you? Uh, and maybe it's not good for business, but spironolactone, aldactone, any role for that in? I mean, you know something. If you started, uh, yeah. I mean, if you start an anti uh, estrogen. Um, Early, like at 12 years old, not that a mother is going to give their 12 year old kid who's got breast buds uh, tamoxifen, which is a cancer drug. Uh, um, uh, it's just not going to happen. Right. You no, know, I wouldn't do it to my kids. You wouldn't do it to your kids. Um, and by the time it's 16, 15, 16, 17 years old, it's still there. It's set in. It's right. it's it's taken a foothold. Because because aside from it being uh, you know aesthetically unpleasing, there's no. It's funny. I was actually with Sadra. We were having a private conversation about this. I think maybe a few weeks ago, maybe oh, a month yeah. ago. I remember, and and I had said something which I just checked. It's <laughs> not actually true. But I I had thought that when you have gyno, it's necessary. It's it's cancerous or this or that. No, it, everybody. Not, it, you know, people say, oh, I was 13 years old and we got an MRI, we got an ultrasound. You know, that's BS. Right. I got I got my testosterone checked uh, or my prolactin checked. I mean, you, you, you could have a pituitary tumor, you know, and, and have a prolactin excess and cause that. Also certain drugs, like, I mean, everybody wants to keep their hair. So they're on Propecia, finasteride. That causes it. There's lawsuits about- That I've heard, uh, that I've heard, because the Propecia is, is yeah. it's, it's, it's DHT or something like that. Yeah. affects DHT. So I know a lot of people who go on Propecia, they, they get very depressed. Right. And they have suicidal thoughts. <laughs> right. And maybe two hairs grow back. And then, right. and then, and then, you know, they have the breast tissue happen. Right. So. Right. There's that- uh, also, the lawsuit is a class action suit. It never, it never about uh, the anti psychotic drug. Uh, what is that? Um, I forgot. Um, what we were talking about, we were trying to think about it. It was not Lexapro, right? Not, not, not Lexapro. Because the, they're a sponsor. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, no. It's, <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought it was. Uh, it was um, I wish they were a sponsor to get free meds. No, <laughs> need no, it. no, it's a boner drug. Oh, is it um, a Viagra? Yeah. No? That I'm on? No, that you sponsored. <laughs> I was gonna say, oh yeah, they're, they're definitely they should be a sponsor. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, but that's amazing that you can take the, some of these pharmaceutical drugs, and and one of the side effects is that you know you're gonna have higher estrogen, and yeah. and uh, I mean, listen, the, the the I would bet that that's the least of your problem. I'm sure, a lot of these have har much worse side effects of that, but but it's it's visually it's a terrible thing that you can literally develop this thing because a lot of my clients I'm a, I'm a trainer and a lot of my clients you know we have there's things you can do you lose body fat you right. can gain muscle and I even think to a degree even if one guy was there when you build the upper chest you see it less 100% right. but I'm very I'm very straight with them because I know what it looks like I'm like you look great, but that little piece of tissue that we have there—that is—that is breast tissue. That's, I can't work that right. out. I can't. I can't get rid of that. The only way that's coming out is surgically. Right now, now go into bodybuilders and stuff of that. Let, let's talk about steroids and pro hormones yep. and drugs. You know, every, everybody you know wants to take this stuff, and nobody's natural. You 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 have a great body. You have a six pack. You're right. you're you're etched and and, and stuff. 
they're on something. Right. Let, let, let me tell you, uh, even though they're say they're, they're natural. How do you know, Doc? Have you seen my lab work? Come on. That's you, right. you, you're assuming a lot here. They're on. Uh, is that a needle coming out of your side? <laughs> uh, um, you know, they're on something. And, and, and it yeah, could yeah. be something GNC from, from right. a store, something, some stuff they have, that they, they got. Did you hear about these stories about GNC? I think it was maybe 10 years ago. They got in trouble because one of the supplement companies were putting actual hormones, steroids, yeah. in there. And people are like, oh, why would they do that? Well, it doesn't cost that much to put it in there. But, it, but when you take the stuff if you're like oh shit this pre-workout got me jacked you're gonna keep on you can keep on buying it but the problem is that if you're a girl who takes it or if you're a guy and all these side effects are happening that's a huge liability so they tested it and sure enough they were putting they were crushing up d-ball or whatever yeah. the equivalent of that and they got sued for so much money because these girls were taking it and they started talking like me you know it, it, it was <laughs> and it was you can get this stuff by by someone's you know bathroom making it uh you know, get the crystals the testosterone or the it's such or the an trend. easy thing. yeah it's it, easy it's you can so go easy. on a you can get it, uh, and 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 sure, you can you can get your testosterone level up uh, to 1,200, 1,500, but it's a big spike. Right. And and then you're gonna get acne and back knee and and well, and, uh, well, you know. well I, I know you're not you're not an, an endo, but I'm sure just being on the other side of it, you you know a lot about it. So, right. So so the idea is that when you bring your testosterone up so high so quickly, your body is now having to convert a lot of that, and it's converting right. more than so. If you so even if it's not as high as your testosterone, the estrogen is so high that your body doesn't know. As a male, how to how to? Is it's right? going to aromatize into estrogen, and, right. and they take the, the um, you know the anti-estrogen drugs like tamoxifen um, and stuff to to inhibit that. But then if you bring your estrogen level too low, you become lethargic. You can't get out of bed. You need estrogen. You know, males need estrogen in their bodies. Which is probably another reason, like to answer your question, why why um, when you brought up like why do people just take anti-estrogens to, to solve the problem? A lot of times people have very, from what I understand, very negative side effects on these right. things. Even women who are taking them for breast cancer. Answer. Like it's it's not like a fun drug to take because when you're dropping that estrogen low, it's you know your bones crack. Like, I mean, you just feel like shit. Right. Yeah, so, definitely important. But um, so actually, yeah, I, I just got reminded of a question. Uh, how much of what you're seeing is especially nowadays uh, any rise in popularity with transgender surgeries? And you know, so I, I, do you play I, any role in that? Uh, you know, I I've gotten a, um, a, a quite a few consultations for that, um, um, and uh, um, I've done a couple. Um, not as many as I would think. Not as many as I would think. Uh, m my, you know, most is that, of my. Is that because of the new uh, Snapchat filter where they can yeah. already <laughs> show you? <laughs> That's <laughs> brand new. Um, no, no, it's it, I, I haven't gotten as many, and 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 they're difficult if they fully fledged breasts. They're you know they've got excess skin, and you've got to do technology and techniques that I have right. to do that. But it's a whole other ball game, because because it's, it's not just a man who's growing female; it's actual breasts that you're removing, and you're trying to make them look more masculine and, and things like that. Exactly. So most of them do the excisions with with nipple grafting, which mm -hmm. uh, leaves you scars and. Uh, but it's it's acceptable. It's uh, uh, for that. I, I think right. in guys, it's not mm. uh, transgender. It might be more acceptable mm. to have the scars around there to uh, um, uh, just to get rid of this albatross. That's that this albatross that's a, uh, around your, you know, that's holding you back. Right. It is. It life. is. It is interesting. You know, talking about you know the transgender community because because when um, you speak to people who are like I, you know, I was born this way and I, but I f <laughs> do not these breasts that are on me. Like I, this, it's you can in a way relate when you have a man who has breasts who's like I don't want this shit on me, right? And it's like psychologically, you know, my thought process is that like if I had a daughter, you know, and she was over the age of eighteen, right. she's out of the house or whatever, and she can make decisions, and she was like these breasts for whatever reason, whether she's transgender, whether they're too big, whatever the reason is, I'm like yeah, here's the money, let's get it done because I could, you can almost understand like having something on your body, right? That's such a visual sore to you. That's so you know. Yeah. Just like I mean, that part is definitely more in your face, but uh, I'm more curious I mean, about the sometimes. lower end. Do you oh. do you deal with those kinds of surgeries too? The um, no, no? That, that that's a, that's a special type type of thing where they've they've got because I've seen the YouTube videos. It's insane. Like, it's insane. Yeah. It's insane. I, I've watched the same YouTube videos you did. Uh, it, <laughs> it's insane. I, I must be going to the wrong sites. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Wasting no, my time. Me, if, you, if you just Google male to female surgery, oh, is that right? There's a beautiful oh, they animation. Slice it and they do. It's it's yeah. no, it's not. An, I've I've seen actual. Oh, you saw the actual one. Actual I saw the video. animation that kind of shows breaks down oh, the steps, you, which was pretty. Does helpful. that gross? Like, well, can you watch a surgery? I mean, obviously, what you do, you're not grossed out because you do it. But I'm saying the surgery like that. 
does that does any kind of surgery gross you out? So can you no. watch, so you can watch literally penis being hacked to bits and it doesn't do it won't. I mean, it gets me a little. little, little. <laughs> right, I'm, I'm sure you're not happy about it. You're not. No, you're not, it's, you're, not, it's, you're, not you're not gonna be eating a sandwich while you look at it. But <laughs> no. but, but but for you, I would I would assume just because when you're carving through a body, and I'm, I'm, I, could, I would ask this to any surgeon, it's it's like you have to have a certain stomach for that. Well, I mean, you know, something I I do it on the local. I I'm, I'm one of the only ones in the world that does you know. This type of surgery on, on on under local. Everybody else puts them to sleep. So, so local is local anesthesia, meaning that they're awake during the whole procedure. Just Novocaine, a lot okay. of Novocaine, like a dentist, and it's kind of fun because we we actually have a, a, an enjoyable time. We talk, we laugh, we make jokes. We, you know, I, I, it's 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 actually a, a very pleasant experience for me and for the patients right. and for my staff. That's cool. I mean, you're watching your videos, because that's how I found you. I, I was, um, I'm from the bodybuilding world, so <laughs> Gano Kamas is very known within that community, because right. a lot of these guys are taking stuff, and, you know, they wake up one morning, and, you know, they're like, oh, I see something, or whatever, and, and they get it removed for multiple reasons. One, some of them, they know they're going to be taking more stuff, because they have to compete, so they know to become a 310, you know, pound competitor, they're going to have to be taking X, Y, and Z. Right. So they're just like, you know what, let me avoid it before I even get to that point, and I'll just get it removed. I, I've talked to guys who, yeah. before it even looks bad, they just get the they just get it cut I mean, out. It's there's a there's a, a a friend of mine actually actually had a you know uh, mentioned this a, a scenario of let's say you know you, you have a car right and a car is an engine right mm. and to run the engine there's gas correct if you take the engine out the gland okay get the metaphor mm. you can put as much gas into the engine into the car that you want testosterone and the car will never run so once you remove the gland. Um, the engine's gone of the car. You can put as much gas, testosterone, or whatever the hell you want to put into you. Um, the ne- the the engine won't run because the the I'm sorry, the car won't run mm. because the engine's gone. You kind of get it, right? Right. right. Am I saying it right? Yeah. So, so the recep- so because there's no receptors, well, the receptors are there, but because there's nothing at the androgen level of the nipple, because the nipple's not even there anymore. It's the, gone. The, the, the engine's gone. It won't. It won't run. And, and that's it. So, 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 in terms of a reoccurrence, um, either naturally or people who are using uh, hormones or medications or whatever it is, is it <clears throat> is it zero or is it very low? Well, it's very low, but you got to do it right. You got to really get everything out. If you look at my videos, uh, you know you can tell the difference between glands, which is this pearly white. Thing it looks like a uh, looks like a like a a, a big uh, oyster or a uh, um, or a scallop, and and fat is yellow, so it's white and yellow. You got to really get that white stuff out. And some guys, I mean, I just got somebody who who came to me from Kuwait City who had it done in Germany, and the German surgeon just didn't get the whole thing out, and it grew back and it oh, grows okay. back with a, with a vengeance because it's in scar tissue. Found me, uh, flew from Kuwait City to me, and I had to chase this thing down into his armpit. It, it went that far, and uh, I got the whole thing out. Had to put it in a drain because the the big space is going to want to fill up with fluid. So and you did all that under local. All under local. Damn. I mean, it's great. It's 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 actually uh, you know tumescent fluid is just amazing. I put epinephrine in there, put lidocaine, a little bar bicarb to change the pH. Nobody feels a, a, a thing. Why does why do most not most but why why do surgeons do decide not to do local and they want you to go through an anesthesiologist is it because they don't want the patient to see what's going on no or? yes no no yes you know huh. it, it, mainly it, surgeons are sticking the muds they're like you know <laughs> you know I'm, I'm I'm a doctor I you know no, we've my, talked about this <laughs> my shit don't stink and <laughs> yeah. you know and stuff of that uh, uh, you, you know they want they want someone else to blame when uh, things are right over. right right <laughs> and they're kind of lazy and they just want to you know Put the people to sleep so they don't have to bother with them. Don't have to talk to them. You know, <laughs> that's they hilarious. Wanna, they don't want to freaking talk to the patient. Here, uh, when somebody's awake, I got to, like, talk. I got to go through every little step, <laughs> every little thing. Uh, how's your mom? How's your right, dad? Right. How's your dog? It's like I'm doing therapy and, and I'm surgery. Right, 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 <laughs> right. When you're asleep, like, you know, you, you, you can talk, you know, to your nurse. Oh, who did you bang last night? <laughs> right, <laughs> right, right. You know. That's, that's, you know the, I, I, honestly, I wish I'm a, I'm a personal trainer. I wish I could just put my clients under and just, you know, train them and then. Right. You know, that's I got to say, that there is some positives to it, depending <laughs> on the person. So. Right, right. Oh, there is. Right. Just, halfway through a surgery, do you ever tell a guy, like, listen, shut the fuck up, or I'm going to put you under? <laughs> no, no. Actually, sometimes I got to tell my nurses to shut up. <laughs> right, right. Because well, they're, yeah. they're talking about uh, about their lives and stuff. Well, listen, the reason you're here is because you like to talk. So my, I like my, to talk. My, Yeah, my, so my, my assumption is that it's never a problem if they're, if they're it, a little— It's never. I do what— They're a little chatty. You know, talk is <laughs> 